First of all, theme parks like Disneyland, Disney World or Epcot Center are not only for children, but for people of all ages, including teenagers, youngsters, adults, the middle-aged and the elder people, perhaps a good place to date any of the shells of your foreign eternal wife, including the apparent older ones. Next quote. Realize also that, if you're not your shell, then you're not your age either. And age is also the attribute of a character. It's one of the aspects of your shell apparent age, and of your identity official age. Both your shell and your identity can be changed. You do not have any compromise with the idea of continuity in the stage world. If you're a pan, you can live 150 or 180 years counting on the stage world calendar, replacing shells back and forth, whenever necessary. Next quote. As for the shells of your beloved one that may be around you in your routine, in order to avoid a logical confusion in your brain, you can exclude them from this exercise if you want. Remember, he slash she is not an element, he slash she is your love. Next quote. That's amidst this environment of manipulation and control that comes the deja vu. You have a deja vu involving one of the shells of your beloved one around you. And your beloved one also has the same deja vu while occupying this specific shell of him or hers. The deja vu is magic, it's so logical, it's not understandable. It's reality, you can't explain how you know it. You just know it is going to happen. It has already happened somehow. You have no doubts about it, that shell of your beloved one is going to date you and marry you. You saw it. And your beloved one saw it too. It was like a Marty in mind melt. Ed Walters, the character of Tim Robbins in the movie IQ, on the deja vu he has just had. So this shell cannot be replaced anymore, not even by other shell of your beloved one, because the deja vu creates reality, and if necessary the deja vu creates opportunities. Aren't you the owner of your destiny? What about your beloved one, isn't he or she also the owner of his or her destiny? So if you love him slash her, and he slash she loves you, if you have had a deja vu involving a certain shell of him or hers, and vice versa, this is the reality of the couple. Each human being is the only owner and master of his own destiny from an old foreign book called the Dragvada. Nothing can change this reality any longer. No circumstances, no artificial accidents, no character guidelines or character opinions, no terrestrial legislations, no logical conditions, no military situations, no opposition and no foreign lizards, no governmental investigators, no nothing. Next quote. And remember. Their characters almost always are not really disabled persons, especially if they have already some years of activated crystal. Those who were actually handicapped at the time they were neutrals before the passage of the hurricane, generally are not handicapped anymore. They just pretend to be. They have already been cured in the backstage, and whenever they go there, their shells are re-established. The backstage has advanced technology and the backstage has the so-called paranormal powers. In the backstage reality, shells are like modeling clay so if you want, you may add to your visualization, pretended blind in the stage world, or pretended mongoloid in the matrix, or yet paralytic character in the tunnel, for example. Next quote. Many of them have engaged in military missions against the other side, either in the stage world, or in the backstage reality, and some of them have neutralized dozens of alligators and dogs from the other side some of them have even changed slightly their shells, and assumed new characters in the stage world, either temporarily or definitively. They got used to treating the same way, and giving the same importance to different persons in the operation centers, and in their helicopter trips. Persons coming from characters in the stage world so heterogeneous as a poor Peruvian boy, a Russian granny with pinky cheeks, a rich black American with a mustache in a suit, which happens to be a pan, and a thin young girl from China. They also got used to seeing foreigners from different places of origin in the cosmopolitan environment of their operation centers, and of the backstage as a whole. By learning to love what is different from them, instead of looking for what looks like themselves, they've realized how special and unique is every one of us, and how easily individual attributes or characteristics can be changed including shells, nationality, 
color of skin, jobs, age, preferences, little manias, etc. Next quote. Let's say you're a man, and that your beloved one a female foreigner is back again to your routine, now frequenting the same gym of yours, using several shells. But in this particular day, she is absent of the gym for a week now. Some minutes later, several girls start passing by you here and there, looking at you, mostly girls with kundalinic shells, flirting you in a synchronized ballet of looks. Five more minutes, and you're doing a specific exercise with a heavy weight. An older woman by your side comments on, you must be a little dizzy, aren't you, with all this weight. Then you see a guy with a very sad look in front of you. He is almost crying in the middle of the gym. Well, that's it, a machine gun of emotional archetypes that do not give you time to breathe. Your goal is to avoid your assemblage point from going down and thus avoid losing energy. Next quote. You believe shells are just like modeling clays. You give shells no value besides its kundalinic potential to give and nevertheless you are working out with the solely intention of being someday a dentist, that is someone whom vampires from the other sex or even from the same sex, in the case of homo rooted vampirism would like to stare to lessen their vampirism. You want to give, not to receive. You never shows off, even when you have something valued by their characters in the stage world, but his character do value shells. His character to show off his muscles full of vanity and ostentation. And to exaggerate things even more, he clones your movements, and, like a horse, he shows off for you. And if, and only if, you are not working out with a solely intention of giving, because you do value shells in the stage, and you believe you have a so-called self-esteem to be fulfilled, or a so-called ego to be pleased, then I suggest you walk away from this guy anyway, and add to your mentalization, there is always someone more than him. Next quote. What is a character? Well, from the point of view of a foreigner, a character perhaps could be defined as a collection of attributes including a shell, that pretend to perceive reality in a certain way. That's what Collis Castaneda would call a pretended assemblage point. By attributes, I mean every aspect of a character, physical attributes like age, race, and voice frequency, patterns of behavior, or of emotional reaction, little manias and idiosyncrasies, gestural expression, general opinions, likes and dislikes, belief system, level of knowledge in this or that area, manual skills, even consumer preferences. For them, shells are just modeling clays. Changing characters is just like changing clothes. That's a very ordinary fact. That's why the keyword clothes to is used to refer to shells. They sometimes borrow shells here and there, and you don't even know who is inside each character apart from your beloved one, if it's a stunt, a foreigner or its original occupant. You probably have seen something like this occurring already, perhaps during the passage of the hurricane years ago. Exercise your memory. You may realize that even without being a foreigner, any one of them may change characters, keeping the same shell, or changing it slightly. After a certain period of training, everyone is free to change characters, assuming a new character guideline in the stage world, or leaving the stage world forever, or yet disappearing from the character without being noticed, and returning afterwards or not. Every Nagel is free. If you're a pan, remember that you will be allowed to assume definitively your original shape someday in the future, so that you'll have the genetic capability of changing shells easily, as well as characters. In a certain way, characters are just specific and pretended assemblage points. They are just a particular way of perceiving reality and no one of these ways of perceiving reality is better nor worse than the other. As a consequence of all this, a famous character in the stage world is just one more character, as important as any anonymous character. The famous character is not a special person, a divine or superior creature, to be put in a pedestal and worshipped. He slash she is human too, he slash she is also a citizen in the stage world like anyone else. Although you probably won't see these images anywhere, the famous character in the stage world also defecates, picks his slash her teeth after a meal, 
has a hole in the socks and a tousled hair. After waking up in the morning no second meanings here please. The difference is that they have the attention of the media circus and the anonymous doesn't. But if it's a circus, what difference does it make after all? It's their misfortune, not yours. Remember, the backstage has no media circus, no idolatry and no mythology. After the arrival of the global D-Day, there will be no media circus anymore. Some of their characters are stubborn idolaters or idolatresses. So every time these characters use idolatry based values around you, you may just mentalize as an initial archetype, idolatry in the stage world or idolatry in the matrix, or yet idolatry in the tunnel, if you want, you may add, same importance and or media circus. Next quote. Example number one, let's say you're a woman and leave alone. Your beloved one is again present in your routine, occupying several shells. You have reached the conclusion that you don't need to approach him because of the existing hypocrisy in the stage world society, he has characters, and so he will be forced to behave as a character to you and even have sex with you. But you don't want a relationship based on pretending. You don't have your crystal activated, so you're not pretending. You don't want to pretend sex with him because your true love for him asks for a more pure relation. So you're waiting him to approach you without being a character, that is, with total sincerity and true love, yet using a character shell. That's your expectation. So they manipulate it. Let's say one of the shells of your husband uses the name Gabriel. You know the name. So you dream about the image of another Gabriel of your relations ringing the bell of your apartment. In this case, they are manipulating your expectations through an association of ideas inserted in a dream, your Gabriel X their Gabriel. This is expectations fishing, and also association of ideas inducement, and because it's a nightly dream, you can consider, yet the category puppet and dreams you'll see more about nightly dreams in the section deconstructing your nightly dreams ahead. Next quote. The layout of your visualization is something very personal that you must choose. It may be a white rectangular screen with capital letters in black, or perhaps no screen and just floating letters in red, or whatever your brain can handle easily and quickly. You have to focus. Trinity Morpheus, in the movie The Matrix you may include the images you have in memory of some of the shells that your beloved one has used so far. You may want to visualize she. He writing the words in the screen or blackboard inside your brain. It will give you strength. And believe me, she he will really be there in your mind with you. You'll realize how important talking to your beloved one inside your head is for this exercise. And how important it is to feel your love for her him. I suggest that, to reinforce this archetype dispersal technique, you listen to certain specific songs daily at home. These songs must have a true love structure in their lyrics, and preferentially a low level of their keywords. A must certainly you, and your heart will like to hear, is can't take my eyes off of you. Another one is what a wonderful world Louis Armstrong. Next quote. Now ask yourself, if this person they want you to be attracted for changed his slash her shape, and used another shell, would you still, have this illusory sensation of being attracted by him slash her? Of course you wouldn't even recognize this person under a second shell. So mentalize, false love in the stage world, another derived speculation is using shapes that present a good physical resemblance to one of your beloved one's shells. This they may do to confuse your mind. Beware of twin brothers or sisters, as well if one of them has a shell used by your beloved one. In any of these cases, I suggest you visualize something like. Forced resemblance in the stage world or shells resemblance, and remember that most likely your beloved one is also using, or have used for some time in the past other different shells. So recall these other shells. Mentalize them. Feel them. Talk to them inside your mind. Use them to deconstruct the illusion of mathematically induced feeling. Next quote. Plus plus plus. Tag 3 or brain text shells borrowing premise disproved. True love preserved and confirmed. June 9.
2014 to sack 1956, 1978, Alter Ego, Andrew Nicol, Animatrix, Artificial Synchronicity, Bernard Verona.